Have you ever wondered why we haven't found or heard from any intelligent alien life beyond our planet? Why the alien silence? Where is everybody? In today's episode, I'll discuss three futuristic, shocking, reality-bending theories and hypotheses that could answer this astonishing question. Could one of these theories be an ominous forecast of our own silent future? Before we get into this episode, remember to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you love futurism and want more videos like this. Like most futurist philosophers and cosmologists, I'm baffled by the question of why we have yet to encounter extraterrestrial civilizations. This alien silence and the absence of a cosmic dialogue is best encapsulated in the Fermi Paradox, named after the physicist Enrico Fermi, who posed the confounding question, where is everybody? The Fermi Paradox delves into the eerie alien silence that engulfs our cosmic neighborhood, a silence that stands in stark contrast to the statistical likelihood of extraterrestrial civilizations dotting the cosmic landscape. What has caused this alien silence? And why are we shrouded in profound solitude? This cosmic alien silence hints at an uncertain future for humanity and for Earth. Numerous theories have been proposed to explain the Fermi Paradox. Here are three that I think are the most likely. The first is the Dark Forest Hypothesis. The Dark Forest Hypothesis, which is a concept from Liu Chixin's science fiction trilogy, describes a universe where cosmic civilizations decide to stay quiet in order to avoid potential threats to their existence. In this vast and mysterious cosmic wilderness, every civilization is like a silent hunter, fearing the unknown predators that may be lurking in the darkness. Trust is something that is difficult to come by, and staying quiet is the only way to protect themselves from total destruction. In this universe, the focus is on survival and not communication. This philosophical narrative explores the themes of trust and fear on a universal scale, revealing a reality where the silence of the cosmos is a reflection of the primal fear of the unknown. Through this lens, it becomes clear that the absence of extraterrestrial communication is not a mystery, but a deliberate choice made to ensure self-preservation. This may be one reason for the alien silence. They may know something that we do not. There may be horrible and cruel aliens lurking in our cosmos, listening for their next meal. Maybe we should be quiet. The second reason for this alien silence may be explained by the Transcension Hypothesis. The Transcension Hypothesis proposed by futurist John M. Smart suggests that a universal process of evolutionary development guides all sufficiently advanced civilizations into what may be called inner space a computationally optimal domain of increasingly dense, productive, miniaturized, and efficient scales of space, time, energy, and matter, and eventually to a black hole-like destination. In other words, very advanced civilizations might transcend their biological form and crunch themselves down into a digital existence that is based on information. Instead of spreading out across the stars, these civilizations might dive inward, miniaturizing and crunching their consciousness down into a simulated and digital state. This idea changes how we think about progress and growth. Instead of expanding outward, maybe a majority of advanced civilizations in the cosmos have become obsessed with the miniaturization of the mind and digitizing their consciousness. There may be billions and billions of conscious beings from advanced societies living on a single computer chip inside of a black hole on the edge of our galaxy. These tiny entities, or perhaps their digitized minds, would be so small that spotting them would be nearly impossible, even if we were actively looking. The transcension hypothesis leads me to believe that perhaps the reason we haven't encountered aliens is that they have shrunk to sizes that are too small to notice. They may have shifted their focus away from outer space to inner space. This is why I've said in the past that the future is a portal inward. Advanced technological civilizations may have lost their taste for soaring through space in spaceships. Maybe the distances were too great, or they became distracted by the glimmer and wonder of their advanced technologies, causing them to condense into more compact forms of digital awareness. Reflecting on our own journey of computer miniaturization, our societal fascination with the internet, the swift advancement in digital processing efficiency, and the ongoing acceleration of AI development. 
It's easy to envision this scenario as a potential future trajectory for our own civilization. I predict this is exactly where we're heading. The third theory on my list may explain how it might have happened to other advanced civilizations and the reason for the alien silence. The simulation theory. The simulation theory posits a scenario where our reality might merely be a virtual construct orchestrated by a highly advanced civilization or our own advanced ancestors. In this future scenario, the digital veil becomes indistinguishable from physical reality. Advanced alien civilizations might have inadvertently slipped into a digital simulation, and the transition may have been so seamless that it went unnoticed. This simulated realm could have offered aliens a replica of their universe, so precise that distinguishing the virtual from the real became an insurmountable task. They may still be unaware that they have slipped into the simulation. In fact, we may also have already slipped into a simulation without noticing. Maybe this is why we don't see aliens in our cosmos. Their existence was just not coded into our current simulation. Maybe the simulators forgot to add the aliens to the outer space algorithm. This theory not only challenges the fabric of our reality, but also reshapes the narrative in our quest for extraterrestrial intelligence. If our reality is a simulated construct, the silence from the cosmos might be scripted or merely a limitation of the simulation we are encapsulated within. As we advance in creating hyper-realistic virtual realities, the simulation theory nudges us to confront the intriguing possibility that our perception of reality, the cosmos, and our quest for extraterrestrial dialogue might be merely bites of code in a grand cosmic simulation. Each of these theories provides a speculative futuristic lens through which to explore the enigmatic question of why we appear to be alone in the observable universe. However, I will leave you with a few final questions. Millions of people around the world report encounters and abductions by aliens. Could these encounters be real? And if they are, could the aliens that these people are encountering be the aliens that have escaped their own transcension or broken free of their own advanced simulation? See you in the future. My name is Grace Scott, and this is Futuristic Now.